I'm Nintendo. And I'm Sega. This, this is, is Console, Console Wars! Now listen to this one. Can you stop with your lame jokes? Typical. Can you stop with your lame face? Good one. I gotta share that one on Twitter. So what time do you wanna watch Lego Batman? Nah, can't tonight. I got plans. Plans? With who? Since I lost my job, I joined this group. It's pretty cool. What kind of group? Don't let the word group scare you. It's just regular people. You know, hanging out, playing games, talking about stuff. Listening to the leader? Wait, did you say leader? Maybe leader is the wrong word. You know, he's just a regular guy I like to hang out with. And you know, he makes these demands and we obey them. No biggie. Um, leader, obey. That sounds like you're in a cult. No, 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 it's not a cult. You know me. I wouldn't fall for that. I'm clearly not articulating this well. So here, here's the flyer. It can explain things much better than I can. Sunshine Happy Group. Like being happy? Join our group. Definitely not a cult. You see? It says it in the first paragraph. Ah, uh, that's not really convincing. Do you not understand it? It says, not a cult. I don't know what it says. It still sounds like a cult. Listen to this. Get rid of your money? Help us recruit? It's just missing the special Kool-Aid. Oh no, it, it says it right here. You see? It's a cult. It's not a cult! Well, are you worshipping some divine entity? Worshipping? Are you kidding me? No! Well, there's the two-hour prayer session of Sarsipan. Sarsipan? Yeah, he's either a monkey god or a dinosaur god. I can never remember. So you're in this cult, and you're worshipping either a monkey or a dinosaur. Not only is that ridiculous, that sounds exactly like the followers of Primal Rage. Primal Rage? A fighting game? That was pretty good for Sega Genesis. Yeah, but it was better for Super Nintendo. That's it! Are we doing this? Yep. Primal Rage for the Super Nintendo. Versus Primal Rage for the Sega Genesis. Primal Rage is a versus fighting game developed and released for the arcades by Atari in 1994. You play as one of seven gods in this post-apocalyptic Earth. The game is similar to Mortal Kombat with blood, gore, and finishing moves. Primal Rage received many ports. Game Boy, Game Gear, Amiga, 3DO, Atari Jaguar, PlayStation, Saturn, and the 32X. The versions we're looking at today are the ones released for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. These games are incredibly similar, but there are some differences. Which one's better? Let's find out. Our graphics look incredibly similar. These games have the same looking characters. All the character animations are similar looking too. They're both animated using stop motion. No sprites or CGI. Both games also have the same looking levels. From the great outdoors, to ancient ruins, to modern ruins. But my game definitely looks better. Sega game is smoother character animation. From the way characters walk, to the way characters attack. It's hard to see if your game is any smoother because your game is so dark. The Super Nintendo may not be smoother, but it is definitely brighter and more colorful. The brightness and color makes the levels look better on the Super Nintendo. They look more real and have more detail. If you like detail, then we should be talking about my game. You might have more colors, but my levels have their charm. Look at the water in this level. It's moving, just like it would in real life. And on Super Nintendo, nothing. And look at the stream in this level. It's flowing nicely on Sega. And on Super Nintendo, it looks like a road. The extra animations definitely give my game the better look. A little moving water? That doesn't take away my colors and brightness. Man, these games look way too similar. The characters look the same. The levels look the same. Some things look better on Super Nintendo. And some things look better on Sega Genesis. Best graphics is a tie. Our presentation looks incredibly similar. Both games have similar cutscenes. In between levels, you see the lands you're conquering. 
Both games have endings for each character summarized in text. The top scores looks the same, and the character select looks the same in both games too. There's not much difference when you play the games either. The life bars look the same. Both are arteries attached to hearts. If you run out of blood, then your heart explodes. Both games also have a brainstem meter, which is a spine attached to a brain, also with similar animations. Then there's also the names of the characters, and time as well. That's the similarities. The differences make my presentation better. Let's talk the options menu. The main menu on Super Nintendo has a dino footprint, because this game has dinosaurs. And the Sega main menu is just on paper. Talk about lazy. That paper is charming. Let's talk about the character select screen. When you select a character in Sega, you see the character name etched in stone below. On Super Nintendo, it's not etched in stone, but it is above the character, which is fine for now. For some reason on Super Nintendo, the names appear only once. Say you die and are taken to the character select again. For some reason, no names. The names are always there in the Sega game, but on Super Nintendo, no names. So where did the names go? I mean, they were there, but now they're not, and I can't see them, and hey, 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 maybe, maybe they're back here? Oh, jeez, they're not there. Oh, wow, who would have thought? Maybe, maybe they're over, maybe they're, whoa! Hey. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. This pile of bottles broke my fall. That's what you get for making fun of me. And my game does say the character's name. Whenever you select a character, you see this cool versus screen. It's got the fighter names right there, plus it shows the next level. This is especially cool during versus mode. Sega, on the other hand, doesn't have that screen at all. It just goes from character select to the fight. Lame. You can keep the versus screen, because my ending is much better than yours. When you beat the Sega game, your followers worship you on the battlefield. Look at them dancing. On Super Nintendo, no followers show up. It just goes straight to the ending. Sega has a better ending. We'll see about that. After the character story at the end, the Sega game goes straight to the top scores. The Super Nintendo game has a little extra. Your character being praised by his followers. Not just any followers. Babes. No babes for you on Sega. Babes in Super Nintendo. Oh, hold on, the old girl's out of tune. Mo, mo, be my mo, Nintendo. I think she needs new strings. I'm not good at tuning when people are listening. Well, that's what you get for making fun of me. And besides, the babes in your game aren't that great. They're so pixelated on Super Nintendo. They're not moving, like mine. Are you sure those aren't just a pile of rocks? <laughs> I think I know a sexy pile of rocks when I see one. Those are babes. Yours look like ants. My presentation is still better. It has more effort with a cool versus screen and more babes in the ending. Best presentation goes to Super Nintendo. What are you doing? Oh, since we're at sound, I was going to play Smoke on the Wire. Because believe it or not, that song's in the Sega game a lot. I know. It's in my game, too. Oh. Well, uh, Sega music's still better, because it's faster. The Super Nintendo music is slow compared to Sega. Faster is always better. You have speed, but Super Nintendo has quality. The Super Nintendo can emulate people's voices. Sega can't even come close. Faster is definitely better for a fighting game. Better quality is better. Well, think what you want. Besides, my game has more sound effects. In Sega, if you decide to toss people, they scream. 
<laughs> On Super Nintendo, they don't make a peep. You want to talk missing sound effects? Let's talk. On Super Nintendo, whenever you jump, you hear a noise. On Sega, nada. That's it? Jumping? That's such a lame sound effect. It's pretty important to me. It's not even like real life. Yeah, it is. You don't automatically make swooshing sounds when you jump. Watch. Whoa! Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I just, you know, landed on this pile of sharp knives. We really gotta clean more. I still think better quality music is better. And I think faster's better. Well, looks like we can't agree. Agreed. Super Nintendo music has better quality, with people singing. The Sega music is faster, better for fighting games. Sega is missing sound effects. And so is Super Nintendo. Best sound is a tie. Now gameplay is where games really differ. But first, let's talk about what's the same. The games play like typical 90s fighters, lots of violence and gore. You play as one of seven gods which consist of giant apes and dinosaurs. You have four types of attacks, high quick, high fierce, low quick, and low fierce. You press up to jump and you press back to block. This game is unique with the special moves. Other fighters of the time have you input something on the d-pad, then press the attack buttons. In Primal Rage, it's backwards. You hold down some combination of attack buttons, then you press the D-pad to do a special. Sometimes you need to hold down three or four attack buttons, which can lead to some weird finger positions. Both games have a brainstem meter too. This goes down with every hit. If you get enough hits, the meter drains and your character gets dizzy. Primal Rage borrows a lot from Mortal Kombat. Not only does it have blood and gore, which you can turn on and off in the options, it also has finishing moves or fatalities. This lets you bring your opponent to a violent end. Mortal Kombat would eventually borrow the combo meter which first appeared in this game. Performing a combo also brings out your followers. Every stage has followers for both opponents. When a combo is performed, the followers of that player will enter the fighting area with praise. These followers can be eaten for life or just tossed around for fun. To beat the game, you have to fight all seven characters one at a time. Then, instead of a boss, you have to fight all seven characters again but in a row. Once you do that, you beat the game. And of course, you also have two-player mode. These games are so similar. Even the cheat codes are the same. Both games let you enter cheat codes. Both games allow one-hit kills, invincibility, and unlimited continues. Both games even keep the cheat option available if you reset the game. No need to enter the code again. But that's where all the similarities end, because my game has a lot more exclusive cheats. The Sega has so many more cheats. Where to begin? Sega has cheats with a brainstem meter, you can either get no dizzy damage or have one hit dizzies. You can also get rid of the time during matches. You can also go straight to the human eating level. There's also the developer who makes an appearance when you play as Diablo, just like he did in the Mortal Kombat 2 for Egality. You can also test your cheats, disable the cheats, and access a bowling game available only on the Sega Genesis. Well, I have a cheat that you don't. The Super Nintendo has an all exclusive turbo mode. How do you like that, Sega game? Yeah, you have a turbo mode, but you're forgetting one thing. The turbo mode plays fine, but it's a silent turbo mode. If you want turbo, then you have to play the whole game in silence. No music, no sound effects. Why? Well, turbo mode plays just fine. Besides, you didn't mention one weird cheat that you have. In the Sega cheat menu, there's an option to disable the pause message. Not sure what this is? This is just a code that gets rid of the word paused when you pause. That's it. This doesn't affect gameplay at all. It's pointless. I mean, what were they thinking? All right, the Sega version of this game is almost done. We just gotta finish up that cheat menu. Excellent, I got a wheel of cheese at home with my name on it. I'm glad you're enjoying that. I have nine more cheats that will blow your socks off. Well, you've learned us this far, we'll do whatever you say. So what is this cheat code? More developers in the game? A zero gravity code? I've come up with a cheat so wunderbar that it will revolutionize gaming forever. Well, what is it? Yeah, don't leave us in suspense. 
Well, I have developed a cheat with no post. Right. Okay, that could be interesting. You can't pause the game, so you're forced to fight. Always. Okay, okay, I can get behind that. Nein, not pause, und pause! So you just want to get rid of the word, paused. Yeah, I'm lost too. <laughs> what, what don't you understand? The word pause confuses and infuriates me. I paused, I know I paused. No need to tell me I paused. Now hold the phone, I don't think it's that bad. Nine, nine, nine! It is everything wrong with this game! If you don't let me do it, I will do a code that turns everyone into broccoli! Oh no, not the broccoli threat again! Maybe we should let him do it. What do you think? I think I really need some cheese. Alright, let's get it done! And if that odd cheat wasn't enough, my game has something near as dozen. Yeah, censorship. Both games have all the blood and gore from the arcade, but the Super Nintendo did censor one thing, a fatality. There's a golden shower fatality where the character Chaos melts his opponents with his... fluids. This fatality is non-existent on the Super Nintendo game. When you perform the fatality, instead of the golden shower, you get a no can do sign, and no fatality. Lame. Give me the Sega version with Monkey P any day. Alright, when fatality is censored. But when it comes to special moves and fatalities, your game is missing so much. When Primal Rage came out in the arcade, it was version 1.7 that was released. Later, those machines were all replaced with version 2.3. This new version had new specials and fatalities. Why is this important? Because the Genesis game is based on version 1.7, and the Super Nintendo game is based on version 2.3. That's right, the Super Nintendo has more specials and fatalities. It's not just a few, we're talking over 10 new moves. Why play the older version on Genesis? when you can just play the updated version on a Super Nintendo. Yeah, but your game's censored, and my game has a monkey peeing. Well, even a monkey peeing can't save you now. Even though it has fewer cheats, since it's based on version 2.3 with more specials and fatalities, best gameplay goes to Super Nintendo. Even though both games are incredibly similar, one game is better, and that game is Primal Rage for Super Nintendo. It may not have the smoothest character animation, but it's brighter and has better use of color. It has better presentation with versus screens and more endings. The music may be slower, but it's better quality. It also doesn't have as many cheats and one bit of censorship, but with the updated specials and fatalities from version 2.3, it has better gameplay. And that's what it comes down to. These games are practically the same, but the Super Nintendo game just gives you more. More of the core gaming experience anyway. If you're coming to this game for the bowling, then this isn't the version for you. But if you want the best fighting experience of the two fighting games, then the Super Nintendo version is the way to go. Best Primal Rage goes to Super Nintendo. Man, I can't believe I lost. I was so sure that Monkey P would help me win. My game just has more. Here, have a beer. It'll help ease the pain. Nah, I can't. One of the rules of group is that I can't drink beer. Wait, you can't drink a beer? That's a cult! Yeah, I know it's a cult, and I want to quit, but I already took the vows. And that god, Sarzapan, he will eat you in his universe if you break any of those rules. Uh, dude, are you hearing the words that are coming out of your mouth? It's a cult! They made it up to control you! You're gonna quit. Have a beer. I guess you're right, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Huh. I guess I was wrong. I hate you. Looks like a dinosaur. Yeah, I can see that. Who drank the beer when they said they wouldn't? You must be eaten. Um, yeah, that would be me, Sarzapan. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, won't happen again. Uh, do you think you can let it slide? Just this once? Let it slide? Okay. If you can answer my question correctly, then you may leave. Trivia? I don't know. Yeah, he can do that. Alright then. Do you have an even or odd number of hairs on your body? An even or odd number of hairs on my body? Dude, I can't do that. Your chances are 50-50. Um... Odd? It's even! Oh! oh 
my god, it's so cool. Can I go now? You could, but you can also join if you want. Oh, geez, sorry I would, but I gotta go. Wait, wait a minute. Is that one of your worshippers? What? That? That's just a pile of rocks. A sexy pile of rocks. I am in. Thanks for checking out our latest video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Special thanks to Xavier the Lycan for his donation of the two games. And thanks to everyone who suggested Primal Rage. And keep those other suggestions coming. We will get to them. Also, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more Console Wars goodness. Later. We can talk about that during the live stream. We won't forget. Hey, didn't we have something to talk about? No. I don't know. I don't know. We... I don't think so. I just died! <laughs> Alright, let's do this line again.